Transport is set for a shake-up with the release of a new long-term strategy by the state government. It's been kicked off with a cash injection for Metro, but it's failed to impress those holding out for a promise on light rail. Not just a photo opportunity, this is David Bartlett's Saturday routine, giving his driver the morning off and catching the bus into town with his family. Using buses actually can be a lot of fun. It's a message public transport lobbyists are driving home next week, challenging state election candidates to ride the bus for 48 hours, the experience already proving an eye-opener. We've got some uh, candidates who have who don't actually know whether there's a bus in their area. So I think it's going to be quite a challenge for some. In a bid to make public transport more than just a novelty, the state government's announced $16 million for Metro to be spent on new park and ride facilities, priority bus lanes and better technology. Things like mobile phone applications telling you exactly how long away the bus is. Making it cheaper is another option, but Metro admits cutting fares presents a dilemma. The business has to generate revenue in order to be uh, commercially viable, uh, but equally if it doesn't pitch the fare right, it won't attract the, uh, attract the passengers. By making public transport more accessible, by making the routes more flexible, people can certainly save a lot. The opposition says the plan is far from practical, with no new bus routes or subsidies for school travel, which the Liberals promised would be free under their government. What da uh, David Bartlett is concentrating on, it really is an express lane to the election. No announcements either on light rail. We still have nothing from the Premier on one of the major transport orientated developments that we must have to ensure proper public transport. It remains to be seen whether the Premier jumps on that train before the election. Emily Bryan, Southern Cross News. Despite a new boom,